Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 21. This lesson is called Counting Up to 100 Objects and we're going to build on what we did earlier in lesson 16 when we counted up to 20. And uh, as far as materials are concerned, really all you will need will be 100 counters and they could be really uh, anything, stones, shells, pennies, uh, today I'm going to use paper clips and uh, really that's uh, all you need to do this lesson. Um, and of course, uh, like I just mentioned, we started this process back in lesson 16, so perhaps uh, right now you might want to go back and uh, remember how we did that uh, and kind of brush up on that a little bit before you start this lesson. Okay, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, model the process for your child. And as you know, uh, if you've been this far with me through 20 lessons, uh, what we're trying to do here is uh, you model the process for your child, then you help your child with it, and finally your child can do it on his or her own. So let's uh, start this lesson. The first thing you want to do is think of a number. Uh, of course, we're working up to 100 now, so a number over 20. And let's start with a simple one, 23. I'm going to write that down. Because, so, whoops, <laughs> broken lead. Because uh, your child can forget, uh, so she can always go back and look at this number as she's doing the exercise. I'm going to put it off to the side here. And uh, as you remember, here's how we do it. I call this the bank. Uh, anytime you have a, a bunch of things in a box, you can call it a bank, you know, whether it's counters or money or whatever. So uh, you'll, you will be, like I said, you'll be modeling the process for your child initially, so you'll be drawing from the bank. And here we go, the number 23. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, you're counting out loud as you're putting them down. But perhaps your child by this time uh, will be able to do it in her head. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And, of course, with every ten, you might want to encourage him to go back and check for accuracy, and that's uh, the touch and count routine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're up to ten. Let's keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and finally 21, 22, and 23. So once again, We've kind of uh, revisited our uh, idea of lines of 10, and it makes it so much easier uh, for your child to count these larger numbers and then to go back and check to make sure that they're counting 
was in fact correct. And of course, uh, one way they can do this is to um, count them individually. And of course, that's going to take a while. Um, but, uh, you know, she should do that just to, to, to see what that process is like. So you could have her count everyone, touch and count everyone individually from 1 to 23. Or you could uh, show her the, the fast way to do this. And that is to count by tens and some more. So, uh, and that would go like this. And of course, uh, I should have mentioned at the beginning, uh, to do this lesson, um, your child will have to have the skills of uh, being able to count up to 100 by ones and by tens. And the reason why uh, she needs to know how to count by tens is that's the fast way to count, you can tell her. So you can model the process. You can point to this line and say, well, I know there's 10 there. And I know there's 10 in this line, and then we have some more. How many more? And she would say three. So let me show you the fast way to count this, you might say. 10, 20, and then you switch over, counting on, what we call counting on, you switch over to ones. 21, 22, 23. And uh, this might be a little bit difficult for him at first, but uh, keep working on that. and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, it, won't it won't take very long, and uh, he or she will have that concept down. So uh, uh, skip counting, we'll get to that uh, in a later lesson, is the fast way to count. And, uh, and this is a great way for your child uh, to uh, kind of uh, improve their speed at counting and, and, uh, and um, their confidence in themselves when they count. All right, uh, one thing I probably need to mention here is that uh, um, your child may need help making these straight lines. Some kids really have a hard time. You know, their lines meander and run into the next one. So you may have to, to give them a lot of support with that for a while so they can put them in these nice defined uh, straight lines. Uh, a, way, a way you can help them with that is to, once they make uh, a line of, of uh, 10, they can put it into a pile because they know there's 10 there, right? And if they can count by 10s, they can easily count that. So there we go. And once again, you can show him how to count that. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So um, you can choose uh, a lot of different numbers. Uh, obviously, we started with an easy one, 23. So now you might want to uh, have your child try to do it and, and support her in any way you can. Um, and any number, of course, probably start with a lower number like this in the 20s maybe or 30s. And then, of course, any number is fair game up to 99. And, and you will know, you can gauge by how your child's doing uh, what he can handle at the time. So uh, um, write down the number and uh, let him go through the process and, of course, help him any way you can. All right, that's uh, lesson 21, counting up to 100 objects.